Okay, ladies and gentlemen of algebra, this is Unit 7, Note 2, talking about permutations. Remember, the big picture here is probability. But before we get there, we got to figure out how can we count how many ways something can happen given a certain situation. So take a look at the problem here. Manager of a coffee shop needs to hire two employees, one to work the counter and one to work the drive through Katie, Bob, and Alicia all applied for the jobs. How many possible ways can the manager place them? Make a list. Okay, so he's got Katie, Bob, and Alicia. All right, and then you've got the counter, and you've got the drive-thru. So how many different possible ways can you do it? Well, Katie and Bob. Then you can go Katie and Alicia. You can go Bob and um, Katie. You can go Bob and Alicia, and you can go Alicia and Katie and Alicia and Bob. So you've got a grand total of six possibilities for three people to fill two positions. All right. So what is a permutation? A permutation is what happens when you have a group of objects or people who are arranged in a certain order. Order is important, all right? A, B is different from B, A. But here's kind of the big picture here. It's an arrangement, right? If I arrange things, order matters, okay? It's not, it's different than a, what we call a grouping or a combination, all right? And a permutation is going to be an arrangement. So how many different arrangements are there for the letters in the word triangle? So triangle has got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different letters. All right, and how many different ways can I rearrange them? All right, let's change colors here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Well, are there any repeats? No. So that means I can go eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. So if you recall from yesterday, all that is is a factorial. So I want to take 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 or throw it in a calculator. Let that, let that do the legwork for you. And I get 40,320 possible ways to rearrange that. So now let's put a little trick on it what happens if the first word if the first letter has to be a well that changes things All right I still have eight spots so now the first one has to be a there's only one a in the triangle so only one thing can go there that means that after that everything still stays the same So this has to be 1. After that, it's 7 factorial, which is 5,040. So it's quite a big difference from the one before it. So now Minnesota license plates are made up of six characters, three letters, three numbers. How many different license plates can be made in the state of Minnesota? So you've got three spots for letters, and you've got three spots for digits. So you can have repeats. So you're going to have 26, 26, and 26, and then you're going to have three numbers. Now, here's where everybody gets this screwed up. This is actually going to be 10, 10, and 10. A lot of kids will put 9, 9, 9 here, and that's wrong. Here's why. Everyone thinks, oh, there's only, there's only nine digits, you know, there's one letter that are one digit. Well, you guys forget, 0 to 9 is actually 10 digits. So it's got to be 10 times 10 times 10. So the possibilities are going to be 1, 7, 5, 7, 6, 0, 0, 0. Whoops, put the comma in the wrong spot. So that's 7, 6, boom, boom. About 17 and a half million possibilities. So now here's the permutation formula. Okay, let's take a look at this. This is said as n choose r, all right? So it's n factorial over n minus r factorial, 
okay? So there's going to be a little bit of division that you can do that's going to make your life easier. So if I say evaluate five, choose three, well, that's five factorial over five minus three factorial. That means top is going to be five, four, three, two, one. Bottom is going to be two, one. All right, five minus three is two. So now cancel, 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 cancel. You're left with five times four times three, which is going to be 60. Same idea if you take 7P2 on the right side. So that's 7 factorial over 7 minus 2 factorial. So that's going to be 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. Then on the bottom, 7 minus 2 is 5. 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. Cancel, 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 cancel. I'm left with just 42. So, remember, this is where order matters. So, 10 finalists in a figure skating competition. How many ways can gold, silver, bronze be awarded? So, it doesn't matter if you're first, second, or third. Absolutely tells you which medal you're going to get. Bronze. Um, so, this is going to be saying, like, out of 10 finalists, P3. How many different ways can the medals be awarded? How many possible different ways? So, that's going to be 10 factorial over 10 minus 3 factorial. So, that's going to be 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. This is going to be 7, so that's going to be 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Cancel, 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 cancel. I'm going to 10 times 9 times 8, so that's going to be 720 ways. So a newspaper has nine reporters available to cover four different stories. How many ways can the reporters be assigned to cover the stories? So you got nine reporters. You're sending a reporter off to cover a story. You're not sending that one reporter off to cover more than one story. No, you're saying person A, go cover story one. Person B, go cover story two, and so on. So if you got nine reporters to cover four stories, that's going to look like this. So mathematically, it says... this chop 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 cancel so you got nine eight seven six so seventy two times forty two is going to be three thousand twenty four so that's what we're looking at all right miss brisky asked pairs of students to read statements in spanish and then translate them in english if Ms. Brisky chooses pairs from Jeff, Kathy, Chris, Anna, and Madison, how many different ways can she pair the students? So, that's five kids. She's got to translate them into pairs. So that's going to be five choose two. That means it's going to be five factorial over five minus two factorial. So five, four, three, two, one, over three, two, one. Cancel, cancel, cancel. 20 different ways she can do it. I'm hoping that this is making sense to you. If not, go back and rewatch this and see if it makes sense. So permutations of n objects where p and q are alike. So sometimes you have a permutation where it's uh, where you have multiple things that are alike, so it's the same thing. A lot of times you'll see this like with letters in a word. Okay, so you got n factorial over p factorial, q factorial. So if you take a look at the letters in Mississippi, so here's what this looks like, all right? So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 letters in Mississippi means I take 11 factorial on the top. Now, every time I've got a repeat, I'm going to put that underneath. So if you look, I've got four S's. And I've also got four I's. I've also got two P's. So this is for the S's. This is for the I's. This is for the P's. So that's going to be what that looks like. Because this is because in, when I arrange these, 
I can't tell the difference between one S and another S. So that's the reason for that. So when I do this, I work it out and I get three, four, six, five, zero. 34,650 ways I can still rearrange that and make it look different. So how many ways can I do the letters for geometry? Well, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So eight factorial over, let's see, I've got two E's, and I think that's it. So this becomes eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, over two times one. So whoosh, whoosh. Still include 3, so I get 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3. So that's going to be 20,160. So don't take a Schoology quiz because there is no Schoology quiz. Do the Finish up the notes, do the assignments, come check answers, and get back to me. Have a good day.